Where are you on the face of the clock dial? That's an interesting question, isn't it? You know, over the course of my life, I've come to identify this clock dial as a way to help people crystallize in their mind the possible need for change. Where are you on the face of the clock dial? High noon is when last year was the best year in your life, and next year looks better still. Money's good, relationships are good, health is good. High noon. You know, the truth is that most high noon people don't change. I know about that. I've been at high noon. We get a little full of ourselves. Here's an important lesson from my life. The hands on the clock dial don't stand still. High noon, the best year in your life was last year. The coming year looks better. But you know what? The hands don't stand still. What I have observed over the course of my life, in my own experience and in other people's lives, is that things change. We don't know why, we don't know when, but things change. I don't meet people whose life has stayed at high noon, high noon, high noon, high noon. What's three o'clock? Three o'clock's when the hands on the dial have moved just a little bit. Three o'clock, it still looks to the world like your life is at the absolute peak. But you know that something's changed. You've got a little gnaw inside your gut. Something's changed. An example of being at 3 o'clock would be that perhaps you're the senior vice president of a very large corporation. To the world, it looks great. Beautiful home, great relationships, everything's perfect. But you know that your company is about to miss its earnings numbers by a long ways. You know there are about to be thousands of layoffs. And you've even got this little twinge inside your heart that says that maybe you'll be one of those who is downsized, right-sized, or completely replaced. Place. Three o'clock is a magic moment for you. Why? Because when you make a contact, when you make a contact and introduce someone to our business, they will respond to you exactly the same as if you were high noon. See, high noon, the person says, wow, he's got something for me. Randy's at high noon. He's living in the best house. He's driving the best car. If he's calling me, he's got something for me. That's the same way that it feels when you're at 3 o'clock, because only you know that something's changed. Your husband or wife might even, not even know that something's changed. High noon is a critical moment in our industry. You can further harvest the value of every success you've had before in your life if you are smart enough to capitalize on the moment. 3 o'clock is a precious moment. Something's changed. You know it. Others don't. People will respond to your message as though it was high noon, but you and I both know something has changed if you happen to be at 3 o'clock. Move and move. Move now, move quickly, because you know what I know. The hands on the clock dial will not stand still. What's six o'clock? Six o'clock is when something's changed and it's become evident to other people. The earnings report was missed. The people got laid off. Now, when you make the phone call, it's a totally different response. Wow, Randy's calling me because he's in trouble. You see the difference? At high noon, Randy's calling because he's got something for me. At 3 o'clock, Randy's calling because he's got something for me. At 6 o'clock, Randy's calling because he needs me. That's a big difference. If you are at noon, if you are at 3, recognize that one of the magic components of this industry, one of the magic spots in Monavie, is that it lets you get paid again for every good thing you have ever done. And here's the real key. I want to help you stop the progression of the hands on the dial. It can be stopped. But it can only be stopped if we take action. Those hands will keep moving unless we take action. Six o'clock is when something's changed and it's become evident to others. Now, if you happen to be at six o'clock, don't despair. There is a proven and predictable pattern of activities. If you happen to be at six o'clock, we will teach you specifically and exactly how to cause your candidate to see the power and the magnitude of the opportunity that is Monavie. We'll take the pressure off of your current moment in challenge. What's high noon? High noon's when last year was the best year ever in your life. Next year looks better still. The truth is most people at high noon don't change because they incorrectly believe that it's always going to stay noon. Three o'clock, that's when something's changed, but only you know it. Between noon and three, ultimately, ultimately over the course of our time together as we build a business that becomes lifelong, I'm hoping so much that I can teach you what finally I've learned, and that is that we can always live our lives between one, two, and three, 12, one, and two. Some of us have even figured out a way to always live between 12 and one. You know what? If you're at three o'clock, you have to act now because the hands will continue to move. If you're at six o'clock, precious moment. Monavi is the answer. Now it becomes critically important that you become a conduit to the system because the, it's so critically important that people see Monavi and not your moment of travail. By the way, it can get worse. What's nine o'clock?
Noon was when last year is the best year in your life ever, and next year looks better still. I hope that you'll recognize that this is a special moment, that you can allow others to see Mona V through your success, and what a great advantage that is. Three o'clock is when something's changed, only you know. These days are precious, because shortly other people will know. Take advantage of these moments of special opportunity. Six o'clock, something's changed. It's become evident to others. Now it becomes critically important that you fully harvest the value of every single 24-hour period. It becomes critically important that you allow us to show you how to put the focus on Mona V and to take the focus off of you. What's nine? Nine o'clock is a sad moment. I've been at nine o'clock. Nine o'clock is when three came and action wasn't taken, six came and action wasn't taken, and suddenly life is completely and totally chaotic. The job was lost some time ago. The business was lost some time ago. The house might be lost now or that day may be shortly coming. If you happen to be at 9 o'clock, how I wish I could leap through these airwaves right now and grab you by the shoulders and just shake you a little bit, because here's what I've observed. So many people get to 9 o'clock and they fall into the fetal position. I want you to be one of those who says, no, not now, not me, and I want you to recognize there is a way to stop the progression on these hands, and if you find a company where the dynamics for growth are so perfectly correct, and if you become willing to be coached and to get yourself involved in a process, you cannot just stop the hands on the clock dial, but you can turn them backwards. Now, you know, in my life, I have raced around that clock dial, not just once, but a couple of times. Lessons don't always come easy, and we don't always learn them once and forever. I can tell you, however, at this stage of my life and career, that I do believe that I have learned how to always live my life between 12 and 3. In fact, I believe I might have learned how to always live it between 12 and 1. My great goal and objective will be to help show you how to do that same thing. Where are you on the face of the clock dial? If you're at high noon, take advantage of your past success. Leverage it further into success in Mana V. If you're at 3 o'clock, take advantage of your past success. Leverage it into further success in Mana V. And understand the critical nature of every single moment because the hands are moving. If you're at 6, if you're at 6, join me in this thought. Your current moment of travail can be overcome by the power of the Mana V opportunity if you become willing to be coached and if you become a conduit to a system so that your candidate sees Mana V. If you're at nine, you be one of those that says, not the fetal position, not me. I'm going to address this situation. I'm going to address it now. Well, in 20 years, I learned a lot of things. One of the things that I've learned is that if we quantify where we are on the face of the clock dial, we can then take actions that are corrective or that fully harness the value of our current moment. 